In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the benefits of using the Solid Edge Integration plugin and how it improves your overall workflow. This is a model of a crane truck designed in Solid Edge. Click on Tools, then on ERA, and open the Animation Editor. As you can see, this is an animated model, and what you need to do to link it with SimLab Composer, along with the animation, is to play the animation in Solid Edge once. Click Play to start the animation. Once it reaches the last frame, close ERA. And under the SimLab Composer plugin tab, click on Link with SimLab Composer. This will create a dynamic link between Solid Edge and SimLab Composer, where any changes you make to the model in Solid Edge will be updated in SimLab Composer, offering you a way to modify the materials and prepare it to render in SimLab Composer while maintaining the ability to modify the model in Solid Edge simultaneously. Click Play to start the animation. As you can see, SimLab Composer has imported all of the animated keyframes from Solid Edge. Another feature that SimLab Composer can provide is exporting your animated model as a 3D PDF document. Let's prepare the scene for exporting. Click on Scene States. Scene States is an option that allows you to save several attribute preferences for your scene. Those attributes can later be used in your PDF document as a tool to enhance your presentation. Some of the attributes that Scene States can capture are materials, cameras, and lights, to name a few. To capture camera views for your scene, disable all the attributes except for the camera. Change the view to a perspective view. And click Capture Scene State from Scene. This has created a thumbnail for your scene state. Click on it and change the name to Perspective. Change the camera to a side view and click Capture again. Click the newly generated thumbnail and name it Side View. To create a scene state for materials, disable the camera's attribute and enable the material attribute from the Scene States tab. Then click Capture. Change the name to yellow. Change the color of the truck to an orange color. Then click Capture Scene State and name it Orange. Now that you are done, go to the Sharing Bench and click on PDF Settings. In the first page, you can select a template for the PDF file you're going to create. SimLab Composer comes with a collection of designs you can choose from, or you can create your own design. To do so, click New. This will open the SimLab Template Designer where you can either edit an existing template or create one from scratch. In this dialog box, you can set the size of your PDF document. For this example, I will set it to 1920 by 1080. On the left panel, you can set the background for your PDF document. You can select a solid color or gradient color for the background, or you can select an image.
I will set a simple image that has been created earlier in Photoshop as the background for this PDF file. Click on the 3D Area button to add a 3D view for the PDF file. Move the red draggers on the 3D area to specify the size and shape of the area. Click on the text icon and then click on the top of the template design to add a title for the document. Type in the title for the file, then set the font type as well as the color and the size of the text and click OK. To add buttons that call the earlier created scene states, create a text and type in perspective. To make the button more distinctive, add an image of a button. Right-click the button image and select Send to Back. Add another button by adding an image, or you can simply press Ctrl and C, then Ctrl and V on your keyboard to duplicate it. You can do the same for the text as well. Double-click the duplicated perspective text to edit it, and type in Side View. Duplicate the text two more times and name them Yellow and Orange to reference the scene states we created in Simlab Composer. Now that you are done with the buttons, all that is left is to connect them to the scene states. To do so, click on the first button. And on the left panel, click on the Type drop-down list. You can choose from this list what action to take when the button is clicked in the PDF file. You can link this button to a website, display a message box, play an animation, run a script, or call a scene state. Set this to scene state. And in the name box, type the exact name of the scene state you created in Simlab Composer. In this case, it will be Perspective. Click the second button, set the type to scene state, type the name Side View. Do the same for the remaining two buttons, respectively. To create a link to a website from this page, add a text and type in a title to be displayed. And from the panel to the left, set the type to URL. Then type the web address you need this text to link to. Once you are done, click on Save, set the path and the name of the template, then click Save. Close the Template Designer to go back to Simlab Composer. Click Refresh and select the template you've just saved. On the second tab of the PDF Settings window, you can select a background music to play while the PDF document is open. You can also set a password that will be required to be typed upon opening the PDF file. In the 3D tab, you can control whether to show or hide the 3D toolbar and the world axis. You can choose to have the model tree open, which will display all the components of your model in a list. You can set the default navigation mode, render mode, and light type for the scene. Those modes can later be changed while the PDF document is open via the 3D toolbar. 
The Show SimLab Buttons bar will display buttons to switch between your scene states and camera views. In the Animation tab, set the rate of displaying the animation frames in the FPS section. You can set the playing mode of your animation to repeat itself in a loop, or go back and forth, or to be played once. In the Advanced tab, you have the option to run a JavaScript or a 3D JavaScript with the document. Other options you have in this page are to disable measurements, preserve image resolution run in full screen, and set which parameters to export along with the PDF document. Click on Save Current Settings as default, and then click on Export PDF. Select the path and the name of the file and click Save. In the Scene States Manager, you can select which states to export with the PDF file, keep them all checked, and click OK. Clicking the buttons to the left will activate each scene state connected to the button. You can press the play icon to play the animation, or you can create a custom play button in SimLab Template Designer. The 3D toolbar will allow you to change the navigation type. It will also display your scene states and camera views in a list. You can also switch between different rendering modes provided in the PDF document. The Solid Edge Integration plugin grants you access to a versatile environment where you can enhance the presentation of your designs and customize it to better suit your needs.